Hi guys, this is Colora Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the CDD or the center double decrease. And if you look at this shawl here, you can see I created this petal shape, and at the very top, I've taken three stitches and decreased them to one. And then they are sandwiched by two yarn overs. So I'm going to show you how to create that. I have my work over here. So I have reached the area where I'm going to decrease these three stitches on the end of my left hand needle. And since we're decreasing these three stitches to one, I don't want my stitch count to change. So I'm just going to do a yarn over at the beginning and at the end of this stitch. So what we do for the center double decrease is I'm going to insert my right hand needle knitwise into the first two stitches. So it's almost as if I'm doing a knit two together, but I'm just going to slip these stitches off of my left hand needle onto the right. And then I'm going to knit the third stitch. And then I will take my left hand needle and slide from left to right purl wise through those two slipped stitches. And then I'm simply going to pass those over that knit stitch. And I'll kind of fan this out so you guys can see it lays in a way where it's centered in our piece of knitting. And then again, I want to yarn over so that I bring that stitch count back to three stitches. And then I would continue on in my stitch pattern, but I'll go ahead and show that to you guys one more time. Just work over to my next placement. Okay, so I've reached these three stitches that I want to do the center double decrease on. Again, I'm going to yarn over and your pattern will probably tell you if you want to do a yarn over before and after this stitch. So for the center double decrease, I'll slip those two, those first two stitches knitwise. So go in knitwise through the first and the second. Rotate that so you can see it better. And I'm going to slip those onto the right hand needle and then knit that third stitch pull that off and then I'm going to insert the left hand needle from left to right through those slipped stitches and pass those over the knit stitch. And I've created that centered double decrease. I decreased from three stitches to one. And then just so my stitch count doesn't change, I'll do one more yarn over. So I have three stitches again. So that is how you create the CDD or the centered double decrease. I hope this technique and video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.